two Canadian astronomers just published a study that claims that they might have found evidence of aliens. Fascinating. Now, these scientists, Hermano Barra and Eric Trottier, are from the University Laval in Quebec. And what they did is that they analyzed modulations in two and a half million stars from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey Project. And what did they find? Well, they found 234 stars that happened to be doing some something rather strange. Um, let me get into that. In fact, uh, the study says that these stars were doing something strange almost as if they were, it, it was on a pattern, as if it was some sort of signal. Interesting. Now, this theory uh, is helped out by the conclusion of an earlier study, yes, by the same person, um, that found that those 234 signals perfectly match the shape of an extraterrestrial intelligence signal. Now, look, I got to admit, this was the previous study by one of the same people, one of, by one of the same authors of this new uh, study that found these signals. So, a little bit of a grain of salt here, a little questionable, but look, I'm still, I'm still hoping against hope, right? I'm still, I'm still on the side of hope. Now, also working in these researchers' favor is the sheer specific, uh, specificity of the sample. 234 stars out of 2.5 million were emitting this very specific signal range, something that fits, of course, into previous ETI models. Now, uh, the, the scientists write in their paper, quote, we find that the detected signals have exactly the shape of an ETI signal predicted in the previous publication and are therefore in agreement with this hypothesis. The fact that they are found only in a very small fraction of stars within a narrow spectral range centered near the spectral type of the sun is also in agreement with the ETI hypothesis. So basically, to break it down a little bit, they looked at stars that were similar to our sun, the similar spectral type. Now, ours is a normal G-type star in, in about the middle of its life. It's about four and a half billion years old at this point. So they looked at so stars that are similar to ours. Now, what, what, what is our star? What's special about our star? Well, we're far enough away from our star, and it's stable enough to have life to develop on Earth, to have Earth-like planets around it. So it seems pretty possible, more like probable, that there are other star systems out there that have a, st that, that have a star uh, like ours, like our sun, to have rocky planets around it in, in, in a range where they could have liquid water and therefore have life a little bit like ours, or maybe a lot like ours. We don't know. It's fascinating. So... Anyway, their methodology. Now, when I talk about spectral stuff, right, the spectral type, here's what I mean. Basically, what they did is they found that these charge, uh, that these stars were changing color slightly, right? So this is what they were looking at. They were in our spectrum, but they were changing color. Now they looked at that, and they looked at the pet uh, at, at these uh, at the times that they were changing this color, this pattern, and well, they found a pattern there. And it was a repeatable pattern. Now, one of the possibilities that this paper is putting forward is that somehow an alien civilization is manipulating these normal stars that would be like our sun into doing these color changes in a pattern in order to send a message. What that message could be, I don't know. And frankly, I wouldn't understand why you would want to send out a message like that. Then again, if you were a powerful alien civilization, why the fuck not? I don't know. Now, look, even with this, I wouldn't get out your welcome ET signs, okay? Because look, the scientists do explain that there are other explanations that are possible for these strange signals. For example, uh, something they called rotational transitions in molecules. I have no idea what that means or rapid pulsations. Okay, not sure what that means either. Uh, or even the unusual chemistry of a small group of a galactic halo stars. Okay, so all that stuff, a little bit above me, uh, the science stuff. Uh, so 
bear with me on this one, right? So while they say it might not be aliens, it doesn't mean that it's not aliens. And because of that, it has attracted some attention from some pretty big players. Now, uh, one of them is the Breakthrough Listen Initiative. Now, let me explain what that is. It is a $100 million program aimed at looking for intelligent life in space. Now, they're looking into the study. And they're, they're looking into the research. And they're saying, we're, we're going to have a closer look. We're going to see if, you know, if we can debunk this. Or if what you're saying is, or, you know, what you're saying is actually true, that there might be aliens out there manipulating the signal. But we've got to rule out everything else first. Now, this initiative is headlined by Stephen Hawking and Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg. So you've got some pretty big players paying attention to this. Now, in a statement, Breakthrough Listen said, quote, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. It is too early to unequivocally attribute these purported signals to the activities of extraterrestrial uh, civilizations. Internationally agreed upon protocols for searches for evidence of advanced life behind Earth uh, beyond Earth require candidates to be confirmed by independent groups using their own telescopes for all natural explanations to be exhausted before invoking estri extraterrestrial agents as an explanation. So what they're doing right now, and this is why I love science, is that they go through and they take these steps and they say, okay, well, look, we think that we found something. And the greater scientific community says, oh, yeah, let me burst your bubble. Basically, what scientists try to do, and the best thing about the scientific method, is that they're doing everything that they can to try to disprove their fellow scientists. And when they can't, that's how you know it's true. That's what's, a, that's, that's what's called a theory. Right now, they haven't uh, a scientific theory. That's what, where they haven't disproved it yet. They haven't been able to. So it's really interesting. And of course, what they what they use to disprove it is science. What they do is they, they try to find evidence in order to debunk your theory. And if they can't find any evidence, then it's more likely to be true. But they continuously test. And so, look, in, and even though we don't have any evidence that proves or disproves this, I'm kind of excited still. I mean, I'm excited that we haven't disproven it. And look, even if this doesn't turn out to be aliens or alien civilizations, there are still trillions of stars and billions of galaxies, and it can't all be empty. I'm sorry, I, I don't believe that. Now, maybe we are too far away to ever make contacts. I have no idea, right? But to think that with all the space out there in space, that there isn't something else alive other than us? No, inconceivable. I don't believe that at all. I don't believe that. I mean, it's it's like that show, X-Files, right? As the Mulder always said, the truth is out there. Hopefully one day, we'll find it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent, non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYTNation.